Hey, it's Kobe with KobeRot.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your opt-in form to work with Sales Funnel Ninja. Now, in this example, I'm going to be using AWeber. Uh, it's probably the most popular. Most people will be using that, but the it's going to be the process that you use is going to be very similar no matter what autoresponder you, you use. So, <clears throat> if you don't use AWeber, then uh, disregard most of this and just be sure that you set your redirect your uh, opt-in form to send your visitors to the redirect that you create after you upload the file okay so if you if that confuse you a little bit just just watch this out and you'll see okay so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select the list that we want and we're gonna click on web forms and that's where we're at currently so now let's just choose create a new web form now in here it's just pretty much straightforward and you're going to create your web form but I'm going to show you how I do it uh, what I do is I get rid of the header I get rid of the footer I get rid of this Powered by Weber, and I get rid of this We Respect Your Privacy Policy and then also I don't ask for the first name if you ask for the first name then you can leave this but I don't because I get higher conversions but some people like to ask for it so they can personalize their emails that's up to you I'm just showing you what I do so next thing I do is I choose body I click right here on the background color and I choose no color and that's going to make it transparent and then on the, while well, I'm still at the same thing I'm going to choose none for the border so there's no border now we have a really smooth looking clean form now the next thing that you need to do is choose the submit button and then change this to something in this case since we're making this opt-in form for a funnel that will be promoting a video then I would put you know watch watch your video now that you can click save go over here and change the position if you want I like to center it and then I also like to make it bigger so I'm going to do that actually I'll leave it uh, at Ver uh, that font Verdania I guess I'm sorry I can't really pronounce that <laughs> uh, let's make it a little bit bigger let's make it 24 uh, yeah 24 is good then we can stretch this out and I'm going to change this uh, we can move, remove this label if you want because we remember in the software we have a call to action so I'm just going to remove that click save but I also want this box to be a little bit bigger so I'm going to make that uh, 14x or form 14px which is pixels let's change it to 16 and then uh, also if you go to inputs you can uh, give this a little bit more character what I like to do is click advanced and I like to inset about 3p 3px 3 pixels go I like just gives it kind of an inset look and that's again that's optional you don't need to do that the main thing is just to make sure that you change your submit button to say watch video now or, or however you like okay so then we're going to click save web form and then go to step two so now we're in step two uh, your form name here it's usually pretty good to use this uh, something that you're going to remember, so I'm going to put SFN for Sales Funnel Ninja, or I could just type out Sales Funnel Ninja if I wanted to. Let's just put SFN. Now, here's the part that you need to really pay attention. This is the part that's going to connect it to the software, because without this, the reject that you create with the software will be useless and it will go without being used. Okay? So, what well, first I want you to do is change the thank you page to a custom page. Now, what you need to do is direct this to the redirect now you probably haven't actually ran the software yet when you're watching this video because you need to create the form in order to put it within the software but the file name that that you're going to re, um, point this to is redirect.html and I suggest that you put it in a folder you know called like gif so that's what we're going to do put it in then redirect.html so you can see I put my website name here my website URL which is cobrout.com I put the folder name which is a gift and then the name of the redirect file which is redirect.html and then we're going to do the exact same thing I'm going to copy and paste that and put that on the already subscribed page as well so if they're already subscribed they'll still see the redirect and they'll go through and see the video that you're trying to show them with your affiliate link so we've named it and we've got in our redirect URL right here now we're going to save web form okay and then you can go to step three and now uh, the easiest thing to do is to click this. I want to start my own form. You can use the JavaScript or the raw HTML. I like to use the raw HTML. So we'll copy and paste that so by selecting it all, right clicking and choosing copy. And that's it. Now we'll go and this is uh, save this into a, 
a, a save spot. Let's put it in a notepad. I'll put it in a notepad and save it to my desktop so that whenever I get ready to run the Sales Funnel Ninja software, I'll have I'll have my opt-in form ready to input into the software. All right, so I can create my, create my squeeze page for me. It's that simple. That's how you create your opt-in form to set it up to work with the Sales Funnel Ninja software. This is Kobe with KobeRoute.com signing off.